Scientists in Israel are creating a gene bank from the seeds of local wild crops, some that have survived for thousands of years since the birth of agriculture and that may help farmers deal with a harsher climate in the coming decades. In a eucalyptus grove nestled between an industrial zone and a railroad under construction, botanist Alon Singer collected seeds from a number of plants recently spotted, including a variety of water mint that will be frozen and stored at the Israel Plant Gene Bank at the Volcania Institute, the National Agriculture R&D Center. Singer is calming the country along with other scouts in search of a variety of wheat, barley, and countless other wild crops so their genetic makeup can be saved and studied before they're lost to expanding deserts and urbanization as the climate warms. <laughs> הם חשופים לכל המחלות ולכל השינויים, ולכן יש להם את כל העמידויות שאנחנו מחפשים. Tens of thousands of types of seeds are stored in the gene bank. It may be smaller than some collections elsewhere in the world, but the gene pool here is very unique. There are many gene banks around the world. Almost every country has one. But Israel is located in a very unique place. First, we are located within three continents, Europe, Asia, and Africa, making this very small land of Israel a hot spot of biodiversity from these all three phytogeographical areas. The second thing is being part of the Fertile Crescent. This is where agriculture started. The research has already been paying off. For example, the Institute has engineered a variety of wheat with an ultra-short life cycle. It may not be able to compete today, but it could be a saving grace in hotter climate with reduced growing seasons. The World Bank warns that global agriculture is extremely vulnerable to climate change. Negative effects are already being felt with hotter temperatures, more frequent extreme weather events, and invasive crops and pests, all which are now being discussed at the COP27 summit in Egypt.